yesterday, this came in the mail. And I wanted to test it out so bad that I'm up at 4 a.m. and on my way to one of my favorite locations to shoot. All right, so I'm at my location and uh, it's blue hour right now. Got about 25 minutes until the sun actually peeks over the horizon. Gonna go ahead and start playing with this thing, getting my composition set up. You probably can't, see, well, you definitely can't see it, but right over there is the Columbia River Gorge. I'm gonna be going there right on the edge of it, setting up a composition with some beautiful rocks. And uh, yeah, we'll just see what I can get. I'm gonna get creative. All right, check this out. So, right out there, those rocks, that's where I wanna set up my composition. But look at how beautiful this is. Let's see if I can get out here without dying. So let's talk for a second about composition. So, check this out. I'm kind of using this edge right here up into that stick as a leading line. Then I have a nice mid-ground section right here, and that's my background. So I have the composition I want. The sun is just about to peek over the horizon and light up the tops of that. So uh, I've just got to get my ND filter set up on here, and then we'll be good to go. I've been talking about this ND filter pretty much the entire time, but I haven't actually showed you guys what it is yet. And if you don't know what an ND filter is, uh, then I'm about to explain it. I'll give you a little demo. This is actually kind of insane. I don't fully understand how it works, but... Okay, so check this out. You see how it's dark right now? I can twist it to the side and it gets darker. So this is it at five stops of neutral density. And then this is it back at two stops. So essentially what happens is this thing screws right onto the end of the lens and then you can use it to help control how much light you're actually getting into the lens. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then I'm gonna snap off some photos and I'll show you guys behind the scenes. Okay, so I have the ND filter on here. You see it's this little golden ring thing on the end. It's at two stops right now come on focus two stops again twist it this way and it'll go all the way up to five so what i'm doing right now is i have my camera set at iso 40 i'm shooting at f11 so 11 f stops and then uh shutter speed is 1.3 seconds that should give us a nice smoothing effect on the water and then when i click the shutter button here Bam. The reason that I have a two second timer on is so that there is no camera shake when the photo is taking or, you know, minimal camera shake. Check this out. The sun is starting to peek over and hit that perfectly. Woo! This is gonna be magical. Okay, so something I wanted to show you guys is what the filter actually does. So check this out. This is a shot that I took with a five second long exposure. Uh, using this filter and then here's a shot that I took not using the filter. Look at the difference. Pretty crazy, right? With filter, without filter, with filter, without filter. This has been the first of hopefully many Field Shoot Fridays. If you enjoyed it or learned something, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and comment down below and uh, it would help a ton if you would subscribe. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Sophie.